This show is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find the other great shows on the network, head over to the Deluxe Edition Network.com. What is up, everybody? Welcome to BAF The Tasting Room. Yeah, yo. yeah, yeah. The so party's we, here. We What's have up, a special nerd? guest today. We have Goot with us today. What's up, Goot? Welcome What's back. Up? What's Goot? up? My first tasting room. I'm excited to be here, guys. Nice to meet you. <laughs> we haven't told you what you're going like to taste yet. Your <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Emmy. <laughs> so, okay, I have That's to take... Worked. A fucking the wheel of fuckery here because I fucked up and said a name when it was in the red again, yet again. Do better. So I got to spin You're the, the wheel. Press is the red fucking button too, you know. Yeah, I know. So, so here I go. It sounds so good. I know. I love the sound on this on the show. I feel like it's wheel of fortune. Big fuck you by Stu. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I love it. I Stop love touching it. your oh. nipples. Fuck. This is gonna be so excited. So you have to lick salt off his nipples. Ooh. And a tequila shot, and a, th- and a shot of gin and tequila. Uh, let's go ahead and do watermelon gin mixed with <laughs> apple cider vinegar. Oh, that might actually be okay. Oh. All right, I'll try it. Welcome try it. to the tasting room. I, it, I feel like it's a boozy vinaigrette. All right, I am back, and I am ready to take this half shot of apple cider vinegar and half shot of watermelon gin. So. You're welcome. Where's Chase's boot? On his uh, foot. I'll be fine. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Prost. Yeah. Oh, I actually made it better. I told you. I, I, it was going to oh, cut it. Experimentation. It was going to cut Experimentation. it. Experimentation. Damn it. I didn't even taste the water. That wasn't bad at all. Oh, you got all right, it. Now See? I know for next time. Boozy vinaigrette. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, so we're going to go ahead and do our five ranking here. And today we are doing the top five worst comic book movies ever made. That were theatrically. theatrically yes, theatrically released. I'm going to go ahead and go first. And these are my five. Blade Trinity is one. Uh, I love the Blade movies, but when it came to Blade Trinity, that was a complete disappointment. And like oh, and they had the vampire Pomeranian. It fucking it was sucked. <laughs> that one was fucking horrible. It had Ryan Reynolds. It, had, it had Ryan Reynolds. It still it sucked. There it. are a lot of bad, bad comics. Uh, it, it wasn't good. Blade Ryan 1 and Blade 2 are by far better. Yeah. Blade Trinity was just fucking dog shit. I uh, hated it. Wesley Snipes didn't want to be there. Yeah. The, well, that's because he was avoiding paying taxes. That is true. <laughs> My second one would be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2014 movie the that oh, yeah, fucking terrible. horrible the oh, fact that they got johnny knoxville to play leonardo oh, so bad the voice of leonardo was just weird and it just did not work at all the look just I, i'm more of the classic i like the jim henson look from the original 90s ones i did not like that at like all the rubber suits yeah you like number three you gimp <laughs> the third one mm-hmm. that's his kink uh, not nah, it's better than the fucking newer one <laughs> the third one su- it sucks but i thought the <sighs> The, the new one was just bad. I, I just didn't like all the CGI. I, I didn't care for it. The okay. voided out turtles. <laughs> the next one would be Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin was just a big toy commercial. That's all it was. It was gr- the the lines that were horrible. I mean, even Schwarzenegger's lines were just fucking bad. George Clooney nipples it was on so the bat suit. It was horrible. Batman Forever. So Stu can rub them easier. That's exactly. That's all for Stu. Yeah. Yes, Stu would definitely have nipples on his bat suit. Yes. So Batman and Robin is going to be my number three. Superman 4 Quest for Peace. Ooh. That movie is horrible. Like, <laughs> oh my poll. God. That's a solid poll. Yes. I, I'm sorry. I did not like that one, especially when you, you see the fucking super, uh, Superman carrying the girl in fucking space. What, what what the hell was that shit? It was it was just bad. The he fucking was breathing for her. Yeah, the, and what, what osmosisly yeah, yeah. through her skin. Somehow. Wasn't uh, um, uh, Lex Luger's uh, like nephew Lex or something? Luther. Like? Luther. Lex Luthor. Sorry, Lex Luthor's a fucking. Wrestler. I know, I know, I got it mixed up. <laughs> Lex Luthor and his uh, nephew was the guy from uh, Sixteen Candles or or uh, Pretty in Pink. Yeah, yeah. Which which. There are a lot of guys in either of those. The, the geek in Pretty in Pink. Oh, Ducky. Yeah, that he actually played. Uh, oh, yeah, that was yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. And then my fourth one would be Venom Two. I'm sorry, Venom Two sucked really bad. Oh, you just 
just angered your wife. I, I'm sorry. No, I did he, not like all it. All week he's like, by the way, Venom 2 is in my list. I was like, cool. I like my Carnage Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't care for that one. But that those are my top five worst. I mean, there's worse ones. There's a whole lot of worse movies out there. But those are the ones that I picked. So that's what it worked. So I'm really curious how it's going to go. Next, it is your turn, Snow. What are your top five? Five worst comic book movies. Well, I'm going to start off with because I hate Seth Rogen, The Green Hornet. <gasps> it was terrible. <laughs> it was fun as shit. No, fuck you. It was, it was fun. Terrible. It was fun. God, right. like that is one person Just who should never be a an superhero. Incompetent superhero. I love the idea of an incompetent superhero. No. Yeah. There. No. And then I also have to pick The Eternals because that was just. That was terrible. Yeah, I didn't like anything about that movie. I think that's the lowest rated on Rotten Tomatoes for all the MCU movies. I believe it is. It is. It is. Yeah. It's like a twenty. It's yeah. very, very bad. Yeah, and it's an earned twenty. It's very bad. <laughs> it was beautiful. Um, I, I'm then, sorry. It was beautiful. What visi- visually? Visually, yeah. but the movie Disney. was terrible. Yeah. yeah. Didn't it have John? Who Sno- needs a plot when it's pretty? Yes. <laughs> didn't it have John Snow in it? It had John Snow and and um the other Stark. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Rob Stark? Oh, yes. Rob Stark. Yeah, yeah, Stark yeah, that's right. Too. Both fighting over the same woman. Weird. Interesting. Uh, you know what? They just need to keep the Starks out of comic book because Dark Phoenix, same thing. Terrible. Oh. <laughs> Terrible. Sansa? No. Oh, man. Um, and then my next one, I'm going to have to go with the Halle Berry Catwoman because... Oh. Like, Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. I, yeah. How do you name really her? Like... Patience Phillips. Huh? That's her name in that yeah. movie. How yeah. Do you... I know. I wait a minute. Wasn't Selena Kyle? No. 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 It was Patience Phillips. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck kind of name is that? Thank because you. Because they're stupid. They oh wow. Yeah. Up. Not good. Um, my next one I'm going to go with is Barbarella, the 1968 <laughs> Jane Fonda. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> she was like fucking a space alien. Ragnar angel hates that thing. movie. <laughs> yes. I don't he think doesn't he doesn't like Jane Fonda. I was gonna say. I hate what that was so fucking. Cunt. fucking cunt. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Jane Fonda is a cunt. Yes, no uh, argument. Agreed. But but like it they, was so campy. They it was had so like campy. robot rape machines. Like it was fucking weirdest porno thing ever. <laughs> and my dad made me watch. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't know this what is what the I future was, is going to be like. I didn't be know ready. what be I ready. was watching. God. But that movie stuck with me in a bad way. Um, the last one I'm going to go with is Pam Anderson as Barb Wire. Oh, that is a... Oh, uh, that, that's when Pam Anderson was actually trying to make it big and yeah, it did it not work. go anywhere. No. Yep. So yeah, there's my list. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. Ragnar, what? it's your turn, bro. So, shit. All right. In really no particular order. Uh, Green Lantern is uh, up there. <laughs> the Ryan Reynolds one? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then Supergirl. Supergirl wasn't that bad. It was. It, it was, was fucking it was horrible, garbage, Quest for Peace was worse. It was garbage. It yeah. was shit. Yeah. I've seen dog shit better than that. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Had a great score from Jerry Goldsmith. And then uh, Catwoman. Yeah. We all know why. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Batman and Robin. Yep. We all know why. Yep. And Superman 4. We all know why. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Got two on my list. So, there you go. Yeah. Did I, you copy his list? No, I had my list before he did. <laughs> Okay. All right. Back, back, <laughs> I just got quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said five. <laughs> I, I don't know how many more. All right. Now, what are we doing more than five my now? Turn. Oh, no. Um, Stu, it's your turn. No particular order. Uh, Superman 4. Yep. Of yeah. course. We already established. Steaming pile of horse shit. Supergirl. That yep. fucking garbage. Absolutely. Uh, next would be Jonah Hex. Oh, by Josh Brolin. Oh, oh man, I remember when that movie came out. Garbage. Yeah, <laughs> fucking on my list, garbage. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, Ryan Reynolds, Green Lantern. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. And just a, a complete shit show. But what's funny about it is to bottom. He makes fun of it. In yeah, because he knows it's bad. Yeah, it's so fucking bad. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, and then last one, uh, Steel. Starring Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> we oh, were just talking about, that, about yes. that one. Yes. So bad. You're taking a, a, a Superman ripoff character and then, oh yeah, you can't talk about Superman in the movie. Nope. You can't have any connection to Superman at all. The entire thing that your character is based on, 
you can't have anything to do with it at all, but yeah, go ahead and make the movie. Oh, and also use this basketball player who can't act worth a fuck. Or rap. Uh, all right, again, do anything. <laughs> or shoot, shoot free, free throws. throws. I remember you trying to make, I remember you trying to make fucking rap and hip hop yes. albums. Uh, Horrible. Shaq Fu. Yeah, Shaq Fu. Uh, fucking game? Shaq Fu. Yeah, I remember the game. I remember. Yeah. Yes, Angry Video Game Nerd actually did yeah. an episode on that. Yeah. Um, but no, it just, uh, 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 it just angered me so much because it wasn't too long after the death and uh, return of Superman uh, in the comic line and the the steel character was a pretty fucking cool idea of a character yeah um and then just to be wasted you know on, on that film i was like fuck this yeah it angered me all right sammy it is your turn what are your top five I've worst comic book for more like superhero movies it in my life <laughs> what? you are sitting on his shoulder i know practically it's ridiculous give me some rum parrot <laughs> <laughs> all right so mine are kind of i guess out of the box that Personally, I made my list based on what pissed me off in in comic to to movie. So I didn't go with the same like major ones that you guys did. A little more off the beaten path. So uh, for me, uh, again, no particular order. I have to go with two thousand nine X Men Origins: The Wolverine. Again, Ryan Reynolds, terrible. Just oh my god. I, the I just, first half was good. No, it, they I'm, fucked don't, their no, storyline up. It, no, what, no, what, what, no. Trying what, to do in a short period of time. Terrible. We'll talk about it later. Could have yeah. been, <laughs> been done way better. Absolutely freaking no, no, just no. Uh, then I'm going to have to go with Ben Affleck's Daredevil from 2003. That wasn't that bad. Shit movie. It is a shit movie. Damn, I thought I had that on my list. And oh. like, especially when you see like in the show. You how always it's said done that you right- loved Bullseye though. Bullseye. Who's the fucking bad guy? It was the only good part of that movie when it's oh. Daredevil, dude. He was the penguin, and he was amazing. I know Colin Farrell is the <laughs> shit, and he was amazing in the re- the reboot of fucking Fright Night. Oh. He, he was good in the Gentleman. Have you I ever seen the Gentleman? Bang good his in boots. that one. <laughs> <laughs> Fright Night? Yes, please. Um, so, yeah, that that one, not a fan. I actually went to TMNT as well, but I went with TMNT 3 when they're in Japan because ah. upon reviewing it for the TMNT episode, it, it just killed my you always said that you internal. loved it and then I when did. you watched it i was it, so ignorant as a child and then i watched and you, it and even adult, our kids hated it and <laughs> our kids were like mom i'm like this is bad this is really bad and as, especially because of how dark the comics were yeah i love the you know the, the first film obviously and then last one for me is going to be from the alien um comic line to alien fucking four I hated Alien 4. I hated Ripley's weird... Alien Resurrection? Yes. Fucking terrible oh, fucking movie. Terrible fucking movie. It's a fun movie. It's a terrible... It's a fun no, movie. No. It's a fun alien movie. No. Spawn is sucked out the side. Fuck that. Fucking it is Rob, fucking but, stupid. I told you. I, I've said I it love, in the no, past episode. I episodes. love Brad Dwarf. I love Brad Dwarf and pretty much everything. And Rob Perlman. No, it doesn't matter because it was such a shit storyline. Okay. It was such shit. I, the wrong. coolest part of that was when the xenomorphs were underwater. That was it. Yeah. That was wrong. a perk. Okay. No, I'm not wrong. You have shitty taste of movies. No, it's the last five minutes that suck. The rest of the movie is actually pretty entertaining. It's a shit All right, whatever. movie. Okay. <laughs> hey, what's her name? Ding, 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 ding. But how, how does that go into superhero? No, you said comic to film. You did. It's, you said comics yeah. to film. There are alien yeah. comics. Okay. Comic book Did you forget and what we're talking about? I know, but no, based done... off of comics, though. But it's... No. That's not I... what you said. It's vehicles all over again. I, I think you, Ron's argument fit. is the comics came about because of the Alien movies. Yes. So oh. this wasn't a natural... Based off of a transition. comic. Transition. You know, it wasn't based off of a comic. Comics were based off of the movies. I was not told that stipulation. I was told. I was going to let it go. I was going to make the five argument. worst comic to movies. Yes, yeah. I wasn't going to make whether the or not argument. the chicken versus the egg situation was never brief to me. I it's guess vehicles it's my fault. all over again. Okay, well, pick another one. Uh, fuck <laughs> Superman. Four. It's terrible. It's awful. It's on three fucking lists now. There you go. No. Um. Honestly, if I was going to go, oh shit, fuck, I missed one. Actually, I missed one on my list. Sorry. Uh, I'll redeem. With uh, Mark Miller's Kick-Ass 2, Kick-Ass 2. I hated Kick-Ass 2. It was a shit movie. Motherfucker was over the top. I wanted to smack the shit out of Fogel. He pissed me off. 
It was a garbage sequel. <laughs> yeah, no, I can agree with you on that. The first Kick-Ass was fucking amazing. Yeah. And it did justice to fucking comics. Yeah, no. So there you go. That's where That's we'll round it out. That's a good one. The sequel, uh, it was supposed to be called Kick-Ass 2 Balls of Steel, I think. I remember the original title. It was title Kick-Ass 2 Sucking Balls is what it was. <laughs> there you go. Goot, it is your turn, buddy. I am surprised no one said the 2015 Fantastic Four. Oh, I was, I was, almost made my list. Okay, that that's a true that's a good one. hate in my heart for that fucking movie. <laughs> uh, Dark Phoenix, another shit movie. Okay, mm-hmm. with Sansa as uh, um, uh, Jean Grey. Yeah, yeah, Jesus. it was pretty bad. And plus, the way that they made Mystique, she looked so fucking weird in that movie. And I think it was also she had to wear the X Men suit because she complained that she couldn't stand wearing the body suit and being in that in that tight suit. And it actually was more of a just body paint. Yeah. So they had her, and she just looked fucking weird. The short hair and everything. Rebecca they, Romaine looked way better than J Lo. Oh yeah. Oh yes. yeah. No, I, I agree. They just thought they didn't give a fuck anymore. They're yeah. Like, just wear what you want to wear. Yep. And she started saying what she said. They're like, "This is bad. This is a office. money grab." <laughs> It's a paycheck. Uh, yeah, then uh, I agree with uh, Stu's uh, Jonah Hex. I saw that in theaters and was like, God, Josh Berlin, why did you do this? It could have been so good. <laughs> yes. But he has redeemed himself. Oh, yeah. He has redeemed himself. Um, Catwoman. You know, I love you, Halle Berry, but God bless that movie was bad. <laughs> um, and then Wolverine Origins. Mm-hmm. Fucking hate that movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's two for Wolverine Origins. So this Terrible. is gonna be an interesting, uh, interesting discussion. So, all right. So that is our top five worst comic book movies of all time. That was a little fun uh, show that we did here. So thank you guys bottom for five. Uh, bottom, bottom five. Yeah, bottom, they were bottom, bottom five. five. Bottom five comic book movies. Yeah. So you guys uh, join us for our next tasting room. It's gonna be fun for another one. We got so many coming down the road. I mean, uh, plenty of fun ones coming. So. See you guys all later. Ron sucks balls. Shut the fuck up. (laughs) Goodbye. (laughs) Smothered me. (laughs) Hey guys, this is Ron. Thank you for listening to our podcast, Barrel Age Flicks. 2022 has been an amazing year with our great shows, including BAF, The Small Batch, Sammy Select, and The Tasting Room. If you like our show, please leave a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Guys, this helps out enormously. Give us a follow on Instagram at Barrel Age Flicks Podcast. If you would like to send us a special film request, please contact us via Instagram, and we will give you a personal shout-out on the show. We are also on Facebook and Twitter. Our podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Anchor, Audible, Pocket Cast, Spotify, CastBox, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. Special thanks to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio on YouTube for his awesome music. This guy fucking rocks. Check him out. Want to give a shout out to Sammy, one of our guest hosts on the show who does our amazing album artwork. Thank you, Sammy. Our podcast only exists because of listeners like you. To find other great shows, head over to Deluxe Edition Network. Hope you join us for our next episode. Later, guys.